Well, good morning. It is July 25th, Saturday. Today, my four week anniversary on the road. And it's been wonderful. Look at this. Not the phone lines, the mist. Makes me wonder what's gonna happen today. Either it's gonna go away when the uh, sun burns through. Up in the, uh, up and down these hills, and 90% of the time I'm under an umbrella of uh, trees, and so I finally popped out. Kind of an ideal, and I'm sure there's some much better views that I'll come across. It turned out to be a 50/50 day, which is fine. They're certainly warmed up.
Coming up on the tat shack, and then uh, I would think within the hour. Maybe it's closer than I think. Maybe maybe it's 20 miles away. Tat shack. I'll have to sign up. Anybody there? Hello? Oh, you got cots. Too early for me to stop. Bathroom. Shower. I might shower. Hello, hello. More cots. Nobody's here. So they had the roadhouse. A couple of waters. Pretty cool. Coffee maker, little little fridge. Um, cool. So I might just take a shower. I'll sign up first. Anyways, I just wanted to stop by and see it. So this be it. So I'm uh, washed up, especially my hair. I didn't take a shower because I, I had a shower two nights ago. I had a place that I could pay five bucks and get a shower then. Sounds kind of bad. I probably should have, but I want to keep moving, so I washed my hair real quick and uh, signed a book. Left a little donation. And I met the, uh, the owner. She came up from back somewhere back there they live. I used to have a house back there, her and her husband. And, uh, He's got the old bikes and I don't know, he must be into this stuff because he's left his place open. Tat Jack, I've seen it uh, online. I've read about it. I knew it's in uh, this area. And there's supposed to be more of these. I haven't been hitting all of them. The Roadhouse than this one. But uh, really nice of people, the hospitality to provide showers. I mean, I could have cooked, I could have spent the night. Okay, I'm ready. I even washed my shirt. So, everything's going good. My brakes, I think, are maybe glazed over a little. I'll have to see what happens to them in time. I noticed that I didn't adjust my brake pedal with these boots and if I'm not careful, I ride the brake a little and I hopefully didn't do that because it would maybe glaze the pads. But uh, I don't know. I'll keep an eye on them. Um, so according to this, Tat Shack, I don't have much, too much further to go to, uh, to Hector. And uh, I'll get a coffee or something. Relax a little and plan where I'm going next. Well, not plan, but look and see. Put the new map in. And uh, it's kind of humid out, but it's nice. I'm hoping to get up a little higher altitude. Maybe it'll cool off a little bit. It is what it is. Now, anything interesting comes up, I'll uh, try to get a video of it. Well, let's see if I can. 
get out on the road and video this without being seen. Biosecurity area, authorized personnel only. Visitors must check in at the main office. I don't think I'll be checking in there, but I'm gonna be checking in there. <sighs> okay, I gotta listen for cars. Gotta be sneaky. Mailbox, somebody's mailbox. Can you see me? Well, I guess you can see the top of the tent. It's like finding Waldo. I'm gonna have to put some brush up there to hide that yellow. And the bike, it's uh, tucked in over there. I'll get a little picture of this. If I can get it done in time. You see me scramble when a car comes. I'm like a little kid. Okie dokie. So. The reason I'm doing this is I'm tired and it's late and the sun's just about down. And I'm doing some long days. I'm up early, doing long days. There's my deal. For the workers coming in in the morning, they'll be going that way. Anybody coming out, I don't think they'll see my bike. And I'll move my hat. So, uh, the reason why is because I like getting away with stuff. <laughs> it's a challenge to be able to camp wherever you want. Almost. Now, I do look on um, freecampground.net, and if there's anything in my area, they, you know, I'll go there instead. But uh, part of the Trans America Trail, you, when you're west, you don't have a problem. I need to camp anywhere you want. I've camped right on the middle of the trail. It don't really matter. There's so much open space out there. Nobody cares what you do. But when you get on this side of the country, everything is private property. And it's so hard to find a campground. And I've heard about this on YouTube. Other tat travelers, they just struggle to find a place. When you start paying for motel rooms uh, every night, you know, you're talking 70, 80, 100 bucks, whatever. I mean, come on. It cost you thousands. Some, some guys, they travel on their, their bikes and they, uh, they don't bring their gear and they can afford to do that stuff. But uh, to me, it's not, uh, it's not the real deal. I mean, in my opinion, um, you make it happen, and then you do what you got to do, and so uh, I think it's going to get worse as I get further east, and I'll have to be clever and resilient and uh, make it happen. So I'm going to collect some brush, some brush over there, and tie in the top of that a little bit, and uh, look how dark it is over here. I mean, these. Now these trees are planted, obviously they're in rows, but uh, it can crazy dark, man. You go back in there, it's spooky. Spooky, there's probably some old witch that lives back there that conjures up uh, spells on people. Uh, I don't think there's any bear out here. I'm, I'm on the, um, I'm getting towards the uh, eastern side of, uh, of Arkansas. Well, I'm a, I can't say that. I'm north middle, uh, south of Bill Shoals, uh, the big uh, uh, dam up there on the lake. It's a nice area, but I think I'm out of the uh, the tall trees and uh, and all that. Uh, that's back towards the uh, the west there. Uh, I think um, the rest of my traveling and and actually I'm going to hit more trees. I can't really say that because I've I've traveled through this area. And I've uh, crossed the Mississippi at the uh, Hickman, let's see, what was it called? Dorian, Hickman-Dorian um, Ferry Crossing, which is really cool. I've done that a couple times. 
and I, I like putting the boat or uh, the bike bike up on the boat and cutting across that way and it, it comes into Kentucky but I noticed that the uh, Trans America Trail cuts uh, at a southeast direction now it's uh, going to exit uh, Arkansas towards uh, the southern end more um, so that's just the way it is so I, I probably won't make it out of Arkansas tomorrow but I'm going to be really really close to the uh, Mississippi River and uh, it will be uh, northern Mississippi and then northern Alabama then uh, into uh, Tennessee then to Virginia and then Maryland so I'm thinking no more than no more than three weeks but I'm, I'm hoping to be a lot less than that we'll see how it goes with weather and it cleared out really nice today you know there's a bit of a front over there but it hot man it was in the 90s today smoking hot I don't really see a whole lot of threat coming from that um, but yeah this has been 29 days of uh, well 28 days of uh, really nice weather and you know something strange I don't have any mosquitoes out here it's kind of weird I, I, I expect that though so anyways today's been uh, been pretty good um, scenery's changing quite a bit more